Detective Strong, can I fix you a bourbon? You mustn't concern yourself. I'll be fine. It breaks me into two pieces, seeing you like this. Watching the woman you've dedicated your life to dying before you. Arresting blue eyes. She isn't dying, Swasan. Don't say that. Not when I can save her. Oh, yeah. Guys, hold up. We oh, lost the light. Oh, oh, I almost had a real tear. I couldn't, I couldn't light a well for a strip club. Just fix it, Mike. Guys, just hold oh, What did he say? I don't know. I don't know. What is that smell? Is that the light? I think it's our writings. Let's be honest. Let's pick it up from Julie. Did you get line. the zit? Did you yeah. get the zit? I, I can't see. No, it's on that side. <laughs> She's not dying, Swasson, do you hear me? Not when I can save her, and I will save her. I have already called the best doctor that I know. We. Oui. She was asking for you. I made her some soup. Thank you. Delian. I hate letting you see me like this. You should be out in the world. Enjoying life, not cooped up here with some disturbingly beautiful invalid. Veronica, darling, don't. I am your husband in sickness and health. I don't take vows like that lightly. I'm a detective. Oh, Gary. I want so desperately to be strong for you. You weren't for this damn ear disease. <coughs> Just rest now. I got your page. I came as soon as I could. Thank you, Doctor. You don't have to thank me, Detective. It's my job. Still, it was good of you to come. I mean, wowie, wowie, wow, wow. That was so <laughs> great, Julian. Wow, hearing my words coming out of your mouth, that is just a writer's dream. <laughs> uh, well, you're welcome, and congratulations on that promotion. Oh, thank you so much. Um, great things coming up for you. Really? Mm -hmm. Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? No, Donovan? Julian. Yes. Did you get my email? I don't support Cabaret. No, no, about my lupus storyline. I was hoping you could pitch it to Edgar. Well, Edgar's an executive producer. Don't you think that a writer should maybe hear that no, first? No, no, no. Or... The show is in the crapper. We both know that. I'm going to do something. I think this could be terrific. You know, she's a maid, but she's too tired to clean. So she's like, oh, you know, just, oh my gosh. You know, I mean, it's just so real. And right, right. Maybe she even, like, goes blind, you know? Just like, I don't know if that happens with lupus, but I think it would be really cool. Like, you know what? We've never seen that before. Exactly. Right, but you know what? Edgar's on vacation, so we're just going to have to wait until he's back. But you'll pitch it for me, right? Anything for my castmates. You got Botox, didn't you? I did. Looks so good. Oh, thank you. Mr. I was Draker? Thinking, yes. You can relax until we need you. Oh, great. Thank you, Frank. Oh, Melanie. Double the whole shot. Sweet extra story, no phone. Great, great. Where is it? The soap opera lives cover, where is it? <laughs> of course, <laughs> okay, of course, yeah. Well, you did make the cover. You're joking. The article's very complimentary. I have been carrying this show on my back. All these years, I have given my blood, sweat, tears, real tears on my back, because that's the kind of actor that I am. And this no talent midget is sharing my still hanging on cover. Great work today, Jules. Super. Would you mind putting some arsenic in this and then maybe, I don't know, stabbing me in the face to match the wound in my back? But they, they quoted you. They, they called you the, the, the master of the 30 second close up. The whole article is about you. I, I, 
I, I don't know how this happened. I'll tell you how this happened, because that little snake has been trying to claw her way into my spotlight ever since her daddy gave her a job on the show. <sighs> Julian, did you see it? How could they? Darling, I'll fix it. I mean, I'm your wife on the show. Shouldn't I be on the cover? We need everyone in the green room in five minutes. We have some announcements. Uh, we're rehearsing, Frank. Sorry, Mr. Draker. Five minutes. I'm sorry, was I just scolded? I'm on it. Thank you. Oh, Julian, I'm worried. First this cover fiasco, mm -hmm. and now Edgar Knockers has disappeared. What's gonna happen to our show? I'm sorry, Edgar Knockers has disappeared? Well done, Josh. It's about time I got some decent attention on the show. Not a problem. I went to Vassar with the editor. The country? It's a college. Kid, can I talk to you for a second? I'm eating. It's kind of important. Oh, do you need help up into your high chair? <laughs> it's about Dad. For fuck's sake. Bye-bye. Oh, I... He's missing? He's off the show? That's what I heard. Does Kit know? Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. She will not last two more episodes without her daddy here to cram her down everyone's throats. I don't know if any of us are gonna last two more episodes. Now with this Olivia Vander something who is in charge. Olivia? Olivia Vandersteen. Vandersteen. Is that bad? What do you mean you haven't talked to him? Where the hell is he? Nobody knows, Kit. They found his boat somewhere down in the Caicos. What about his money? Is that in the Caicos too? Kit, the free ride is over, okay? Without Dad, we may not even have our jobs anymore. We are screwed. You can't just replace him. It's his show. Apparently they did. The network just hired Olivia Vandersteen. Holy shit. I'm scared, Kit. I mean, what if they cancel the show? I don't have any other skills. Dad just promoted me to head writer. Our ratings blow. Boo-hoo, Lifetime Channel. Pull your skirt up. We got a situation here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does Julian know? I don't know. I heard Olivia sued her own mother for inappropriate touching. Her mother molested her? No, she literally just touched her. Julian, they say that people are being put on the dole. Oh, I have no idea what that means, but don't worry, I'll protect you. Okay, let okay. go. All right, everyone, everyone, please listen, calm down. We're gonna handle this. Remember, we're not just a family on the show, we're a family off the show as well. If I was your family, I'd totally abort myself. You seem so calm, Kit. Did you already find a new job? Do they need a new stand-in for Peter Dinklage? Whatever, cheekbones. Olivia, what's her butt isn't gonna fire me? We're part of a hot love triangle. Listen to me, Olivia Vandersteen will fire you faster than you can say, I'm fat. She is an angry woman. I hear she laughed all the way through Sophie's Choice. I mean it, she's hard hard-pressed to find a funnier movie than Sophie's Choice, right? <laughs> takes a girl, no, 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 takes a boy. <laughs> it's like Schindler's List, like that ever happened. You want to see me, Captain? Have a seat, Gary. Look, I'm sorry to pull you off alien abductions, but I wanted to be the first one to let you know. An arrest has been made in the attempted murder case, and we think we might know who tried to kill your wife. When do I get to interrogate him, Captain? Gary. God damn it, Captain! You promised me whoever did this to my bride is gonna pay like hell for what he did. Damn it, Gary! It was Rose! Rose! She's the one we brought in. She's the one we have evidence about. And we all know she's the one with the motive. She wouldn't do this. You know she is not capable of such a treacherous... I know what the evidence tells me, detective. And back in the day, so did you. Now don't make me take your badge. Tell me that you could keep your personal feelings out of this. Gary! You can't save her. And if she attempted to kill your wife, you shouldn't even try. Thank you, Captain. I only have a few minutes. Gary! They told me you're lead detective on the alien abductions. I have just been sick with worry. Gary? It's a dark time for everyone in Sunview River Falls. 
What is it? What's wrong? Oh, Rose, if only I had known you were trapped in a well all those years. I wish to hell that I'd waited for you, but I didn't. I married Veronica. And no matter what my feelings for you, she's my wife. I didn't give the orders to take Veronica off those machines. I want to believe you, Rose, but... Gary, look at me! <sighs> I am guilty of loving you. And while there are times I would rather die than live another day without you, I wouldn't try to kill someone. <laughs> Which means you better go find that alien that did. Top speed if we could. It's okay. I'm oh, sorry. Good afternoon, everyone. My goodness, what an eclectic group of folks. I'm Olivia Vandersteen, and I've been asked by the network to replace Edgar Knockers as the uh, new executive producer for Collided Lives. And given my new position, I felt it was incumbent upon me to watch your show. So I did. Until the 80s came barging in and wanted it back. And as a result, most of your writers have been fired and encouraged to leave the business and the country. That means now there's time for fresh ideas. Thinking outside of the box, right? Isn't that what you call it? Out with the old, in with the new. Quite literally, you two, gone. Here now! What the hell is going Julian on here? Julian Draker, oh my goodness, I am such a fan. Thank you. <laughs> now we all know that your numbers are flagging, uh, and that's in spite of the fact that we moved into this charming yet makeshift studio, but it still hasn't stopped the financial hemorrhaging. So more sacrifices must be made. Now, my assistant, Rachel. Yes. We'll be handing out inventory sheets so that we might update our information on all of you. We'll need your weight, your birth date, your height, your weight, your social media handles with passwords, and your weight. You know, I have to be honest, I'm not sure why some of you appeal to our audience, but uh, unfortunately, I don't have all the answers. Yet. And it's at this point she's wondering, am I fired? And she is. More of you will have to go. And that includes personal assistants, actually all of your personal assistants. Of course, cast members are welcome to pay wages out of their own pocket, but with the substantial salary cuts you'll all be facing, well, that might prove to be discomforting. Now, rest assured, every decision I make will be carefully considered. You, gone. Face cancer. <laughs> and each decision, of course, will be based on preserving the integrity of our beloved characters and the storyline and blah, blah, blah. How many more layoffs should we expect? What's your name, dear? Kit? As of now, all actors over the age of 35 should consider themselves on watch. Oh, well, Julian... 29. In December. And you don't look a day over. Well, this has been a great meeting, huh? Gosh, have I enjoyed meeting all of you. And I look forward to working with some of you. Hey, Donovan. Coffee in my office. Oh, goodness. I can't breathe. Do you think they're going to let more people go? Darling, don't worry. I'm not going to let anything happen to you. I give you my word as a man and as an actor. Oh, big day, huh? You must be pretty nervous. You're practically stroking death's balls. Darling, would you get me some baklava? Of course. Thank you. 
Must be hard watching your father's dynasty slip away. Things don't look good for you, do they, kid? Are you kidding? I just made the cover of Soap Opera Lives. You're welcome, by the way. Listen to me, you chubby little muppet. I am Collided Lives. It might as well be called Collided Julians. That's how important I am to this show. And if I say that you've got to go, you'll be out the doggy door in a hot second. I'm your long-lost childhood love detective. Your wife is dying of very rare ear disease. And my brother's head writer. So, you do the math. What, what does that mean? I have no idea. I know they're not going to pay for me anymore, Mr. Draker, but I'll stay on. If you need me, I am here. Melanie, I do not expect you to work for free. <laughs> but if this is your passion, I support you. Julian, Olivia would like to see you. Thanks so much. Olivia, so lovely. No. Sorry, I was just updating my Netflix queue. I wanted to get Titanic. I hear it's hilarious. <laughs> you know, it is. It's so. Help me, I'm sinking the boat. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. There goes my family. We're just all dead, and it's cold in the ocean, and everyone's gone. Julian. Oh, you're a good man, I can tell. And you know how much you mean to this show. Well, I'm gonna have to make a, a few tweaks to your contract. Really? No, no, it's not about you. It's uh, actually your evil twin. Uh, we have to let him go. You're cutting Glenn? Well, we can't afford both of you, unless, of course, you're willing to give us a twofer. Well, that's impossible. He's an entirely separate character, and he requires a completely different preparation. And now he requires unemployment. Yeah. I see. And my close-ups? Are very powerful. Thank you. But no, in my contract, I require a certain amount of reaction shots per episode, and I trust that you're not... Oh, no, no, no. Julian Draker is still our star, and we are going to ride you like a track horse. Don't you worry about that, okay? <laughs> but I need to ask you a question, Julian. Do you have any skeletons in your closet that I need to know about? You know, something that would maybe bite me in the ass if I make you my show pony? Mm-mm. No. No? No. Well, that's good news, because I have a terrific idea. Julian Draker's Man Musk. What? I developed your signature body spray with an entire ad campaign to go with it. Oh, no. I really don't... Oh, I'm so glad you're on board. <laughs> you know, I've never seen such a keen sensibility in a... Producer, Olivia, I mean, take for instance this insane alien storyline. I love it. It's so good. I love it. And how you know exactly who needs to stay, who needs to go, like Shay, who should absolutely stay. And which one is she? She plays my wife on the show. She's, she's blonde. Blonde. Oh, yeah. But I understand budget restrictions, absolutely. It's a dark time for everyone in Sunview River Falls. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. As I was saying, you know, sometimes the smallest people have the largest salaries. Go on. You know, with all of these aliens running around town, a certain mediocre little actress who only has a job on the show in the first place because her father was the executive producer could just disappear. On a gurney, limbs ripped off her body, brains eaten out. Impossible to return ever to Sunview River Falls again. Ever. Yep. I thought. Okay. Hey, you know that moment when you realize you worn out your welcome? Exactly. That should have happened for you about three moments ago. Veronica. Veronica, darling. They said you've been asleep for nearly six hours. You must be exhausted. Pa. 
Huh? What? Is the sun come up? Veronica, darling, it's me, Gary. I've got to get to the barn. Those cows ain't gonna milk themselves. No, no, no. The cows are fine today. Pa, already done milked them. That's easy for you to say. You've never run for governor. Veronica, please. It's me, Gary. Don't you recognize me? Dr. Mike Hunt, please report to the emergency room. Gary? Rose, what are you doing here? There's not enough staff to handle the incoming patients. And even if you were qualified to treat for the alien interference, we don't even know what we're dealing with. They're multiplying at a rate that we just can't handle. I know the whole precinct has been on 18-hour watch as well, and still, it's just not enough. I've hidden some sandwiches in the dumpster. I could get one for you. No. Thank you. We'll be fine. Maybe Ma Pop Dung Sue! She's not making progress. She'll be fine, Rose. I know that you still think that I'm- It doesn't matter what I think. What matters is my wife lying here delirious, my wife who has been my home for years, who now doesn't remember the bed we shared or the church picnic where I proposed. Rose, no, you need to hear this. I will bring Veronica back from this brink. Affleck. And when I do, I can't have you darkening our door again, ever. Paging my Paging my Give her this. It's albuquestamine. It'll help the synapses in her brain overcome the interplanetary messaging. She's gonna be okay, Gary. Veronica's gonna make it. Rose, you just saved her life. What the hell, Donovan? I've been on this show for ten years. I could have done days, for Christ's sake. They asked me to play Roman after the sex change. Maureen, I'm so sorry. I swear that I will try to write you back in. I had plans to adopt a black child. You know that. Yeah. What's up, her twat? Oh, God, I'm gonna be sick. Olivia's making me fire people personally. What, so she got fired? She'll find something? That was a pretty old ladies that was parades and shit. I cannot believe we're related, much less twins. Excuse me. Oh, hey, Jules. Hey, Kitty. If they wanted to cut me from the show, you'd have to write that, right? Yeah, I guess. But you'd never do that, because you know that I would tell people how you popped a boner on our family camping trip. No, Kit, I was 12. Still pitching a tent for your sister? Wait, not at all accurate. It did not happen. But not something you want people knowing about, right? God, you're horrible. So we're cool? Oh, thanks, little bro. No, no. There's no baklava. I told them you like to have baklava at the break, and they completely ignored me. It's like it's like I'm already gone. I see you. I see you. Hmm. So I called my manager to see what's next, you know, what the plan is after Collided yeah. Lives. And he said, Alcafat is looking for a spokeswoman. Alcafat, isn't that the stuff that- It burns the fat specifically put on your body by alcohol, yes. Right. Oh, Julian. <laughs> oh, Shay, Shay, no, darling, darling. Look, you are not going anywhere. Listen to me. I spoke to Olivia. Really? Mm -hmm. What did you say? Hmm? What did you say? Well, I simply demanded that she get rid of Glenn and keep you. You gave up Glenn for me? It was the absolute least I could do. <laughs> My darling. Who? Mm. Mm. Excuse me? Shay Buttersfield? <laughs> Oh, I'm like a huge fan. Thank you. Yeah. That episode where you saved all the crippled kids on the plane from the Soviet terrorists? Actually, they were Russian. Oh, you're like the best thing on the show. Oh, if you're looking for the extras dressing room, it's actually right down the hall. Nice oh, to meet you. oh I actually, I'm a full cast member. <laughs> this tall blonde lady came up to me, and next thing you know, I'm signing contracts. Super fun, right? Yeah, that's that's great. It's funny, though, because we were just hearing about budget cuts. Huh. Well, she said they needed eye candy on the show. Eye candy? Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, actually, I think I'm playing your son. Oh, Julian. Wait, oh, honey. Oh, oh. oh my. Oh, oh God. <laughs> honey. Thank 
you. Thank you. Julian. Yeah, no problem. Well, I'm super excited to work with you guys. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you guys want to go out for a drink after the show with me and my boyfriend? Oh, darn. We have uh, we can't tonight. We have cocktails with M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> we need to change. Oh, Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Nice. Wow. She got He was nice. Oh, Mr. Draker, the man most people are ready for you. Thank you, Melanie. You're welcome. There he is. Hey, Julian. Nice to meet you. My name is Flock Deluge. I'm going to be directing this spot today, mm -hmm. and uh, I have uh, heard a lot about you. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Okay, the client is right over yonder, as they say out here in the Golden West. Nothing very complicated today. You're just going to enjoy a beautiful ride through the Rocky Mountains on this lovely horse. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Got it. Beautiful. Whoa! Okay, Julian, don't change anything. It's perfect, okay. but it's not a bull. So that... Oh. Probably. Okay. All the way, all, all right, the way down. down. That's right. There you go. Now we're ready to do it. Let's sell some of this wait, man. Wait, wait, wait. I just had to get my wardrobe just right. Okay. This is for actors only, kid. Actors only. Oh, oh, you underestimate me, Draker. I convinced Henry over there, who convinced Olivia that she needed both her big stars in this little commercial campaign. He liked the idea and the hand job. Oh my God, get this off of me. Okay, let's roll on one of these, shall we? Okay, folks, as you all know, this is Julian Draker, and this is a uh, weirdly slutty prairie girl. Kit knockers. Kit knockers, right. <laughs> no, it's kit knockers. You're shitting me. Nope. Okay. Kit knockers, this is a promo for Julian Draker's Man Must Take One. Uh, as you know, it's just a leisurely ride again through the lovely Rocky Mountains. Uh, you hold this up and you spray it. just like that, except mm -hmm. you want it on your body. So you're gonna lean into it maybe, lean into the musk, get it on your body, that's it. Say the line at the same time you do it. Don't forget you're riding a horse the whole time, right? Oh, Always this is the horse. Oh, this is the horse. We're gonna put that in with visual effects later. Also, mm -hmm. over here, this grip. Uh-huh. That's a bear, you're gonna be wrestling him. Later, not in this shot. It's much, don't think about that. Okay. Don't, let's just do this shot. Okay. Okay? And, action! Man Musk brings out the fighter in you. Tut, tut it. Boy, um, I'm not sure they have words for this. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, the leaning in isn't working. Oh, okay. So don't do that. Okay. Just spray it on your wrists or something. I'm not, I don't think I could do that. Well, he would if he were you and he is you because you're him. That's Forgive me, but if, if I was at a high enough altitude, I really believe that the wind velocity would actually, you know, would carry the spritz into my vicinity. I just, I, I don't think a direct spray is necessary. You know what it is? What? They want it. The client. No. Oh, God. Damn it! Just do it. Okay. okay. And action! Man must. Cut that. Cut it. Okay. okay. Would you like me Absolutely to do something? Absolutely not. Um, you know what happened? You dropped the reins. Oh, but it's my horse. Wouldn't he know where I want to go? I could lead the Don't, horse. No speaking. You. Not from you. That's for sure. Um, no, you need to steer the horse and spray the musk at the same time. Spray, spray the musk on your, on your neck. Would this character want it on his neck? Would he want it on his neck? Yeah. Would he want... Really? Yes. Lim look at me. Because, and this is the part you forgot, because you've been doing so much today. Thank you. He's hot. Thank you. No, no, he's, the character's very hot. Oh. He's been riding all day. He's close to the town that he's going to save with his bravery. It's a bunch of women and children. They need your help from marauding Indians. That's the part you forgot. Do you understand? Let me see a lot of that. You're gonna get a lot of give it. Give me too much of it. I'm gonna give you so much. But not that much. Wait. Wait, but... Hmm. 
I'm ready. Oh, sorry. Roll camera. Go really tight on him. Frame her the fuck out of the picture. Man musk. Ah! Brings out the fire in you. Moving on, we got it. Thank you, everyone. Great job. Thank you, Flick. Flock. I know what you think you're doing, Draker, and I am not a girl who goes down easy. Really? Because I think you just did. By the way, Olivia is really keen to hear my thoughts on who stays and who goes, and I just don't think that midgets are part of the show's future. Careful, Draker. You're messing with the wrong midget. Soissant, what are you doing? You should be upstairs packing. Je ne sais pas. I am not going. Soissant, don't talk nonsense. I have lived a wonderful life, Mr. Strong. Detective. I simply cannot go. I cannot. You cannot stay. The aliens have abducted all women over 40. It's only a matter of time before they come for the French. My decision is made. Out of my way, Mayard. <laughs> come in. Rose. Thank you for seeing me. I know you're in a hurry. Please, everyone in town is evacuating. The yacht is leaving in less than 30 minutes. You must be on it. Was Romano Asiago the man who trapped me in a well all those years? A luxury cruise liner is the only safe way out of Sunview River Falls. I'll take my chances. We're all moving on, isn't that right? I don't think there's much more we can offer each other. I disagree. Gary, before you go, I want you to meet Gareth. Your son. Our son. I'm the mother of your child. Don't ever call me that. You were amazing in there, just amazing. Well, thank you. Oh, and congratulations. Still hanging on, you sexy star. God, these little things don't matter, Sean. It's about the work. Oh, I've always wanted to be seen as sexy. I just think I'm too insecure. Thank you. I feel like I'm kind of way out of my league. Yes, I mean, thank you. Yeah. Hey, how do you do that weepy thing with your face? Is it because you keep your eyes open so long? Well, every given circumstance is... Wait, what? I would love it if you could give me some pointers sometime. Um, honestly, Mr. Draker, that would mean the Mr. world Draker, to me. Mr. Draker, you realize we're like the same age, right? Oh, Frank, call TMZ and tell them I'll be drunk tonight at the Yip Yap Club and I'm not wearing panties. I don't work for you. I'm gross. Happy now? Great rewrites, little bro. I had to do a lot to convince Olivia not to fire you. Like, a lot. Wow, I didn't think you had it in you and now you've had it in her? You're gonna have to figure out another way to stay on the show from now on. Donovan, I'm Felicia, Olivia's new assistant. She wants to see you. Bring water. Hi, Donovan. There you are. What? Oh my God. What? Unbelievable. You? The mother of my child? I mean, do you even have a vagina yet, you punk? Don't blame me. We just have really good writers on the show. The public will never stand for it because you're a homewrecker. Who cares what the public wants? I do. Oh, so you think the public wants to see this? That's not me. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Open wide Santa and oh, get ready for some oh. soap opera cock. Get the jingle ball, Santa. Hey, Mr. Draker. Hey, Frank. I'll tell you what the public doesn't want to see. Julian Draker banging Santa and his little helpers. Well, well, well. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. What is it that you want, kid? A gift certificate to Lane Giant? I am finally going to get rid of baby Jane Buttersfield, and I will become Mrs. Gary Strong once and for all. And you're gonna play along. I'm not that good of an actor. I mean, of course I am. Olivia but... wants to see us all in the green room again. Oh, well, that's my cue. Hmm. You suck one.
You all right, Mr. Draker? Oh, yes, I'm great, thank you. <laughs> I'll get you some water. Oh, thank you. These little meetings are getting to be so stressful. What is that smell? Melanie's loyalty. I have barely anything to pay her, and yet she gets up every morning, leaves the shelter, and comes to work. You just can't buy dedication like that. Julian, you are so brave. Thank you. Is that car freshener she's wearing? I hope it's good news today. We can count on it. Julian? Yes? Can I ask you for an autograph for my mother? Oh, sure. <laughs> and my grandmother? And my great-grandmother? Do you have a pen? Here you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> of course, you're welcome. And be a lamb and collect your things on your way out. Everybody up! Oh. Bye, Felicia. Ah, uh, have a seat. I wish I was standing here with better news, though the alien storyline is going over very well with the fans. Hold the work! Your numbers aren't where they need to be. Now, I am considering doing a live episode or a musical episode. I've even considered putting this show on the internet. The internet? Like porn? What I know for certain is that this show needs a splash of color. So I went out and hired one. Raheem! This is Raheem, everybody. Collided Lives needs ethnicity. And Raheem can play them all. All right, Raheem. Do Italian. Can I get you something to drink? Now do French. Can I get you something to drink? Now Mexican. Isn't he masterful? Hmm? He's educated, he's well-spoken, and he's an Arakistani. This is huge. And speaking of huge, I am very pleased to announce that Donovan has been promoted. He is now an associate producer, and I trust that you will all treat him with the respect and deference that title confers. Oh, there is so much fun in store for Collided Lives, and I hope you'll enjoy the new scripts. Donovan, latte in my office. Let's go meet the new young man. Welcome to the show. I speak English. Of course. Dude, you are mega talented, man. I hope so. I went to Juilliard. Oh, no way. I went to Thailand for a couple months. Baklava. So nice to have a fellow trained actor on the set. Julian Draker, master's degree in theatrical arts, Arizona Arts and Tech. I'm familiar with your work. Thank you. We voted for Obama. I think I'm gonna go grab a bite to eat before the big shipwreck scene. Shipwreck? Do you guys even read your scripts? I choose to work organically. How dare he? Do you know anything about a shipwreck? I forgot those pages. Shay, Olivia would like to see you. Okay. Dead weight walking. Don't you have any respect? She has been on the show for 15 years. I've had my period for 15 years. I don't expect a medal. Ew. I'm glad that you've accepted the terms of my deal, Draker. We're gonna make quite a team. Hear this now. I will never play for your team. Do you know what I mean? Dad? Super pumped about the acting lessons. Watch this, ready? See, I'm learning. And look at this. I made it on the cover of Daytime Eye Candy Magazine. <laughs> Thanks, Mom and Dad. <laughs> yeah. Let go, Rose. Never let go. Get on my back. It's strong. Rose. Where's Veronica? I couldn't find her. Climb, Rose. Climb. Oh, Gary. Where's Gareth? I thought 
thought he was with you. No. <gasps> oh my God! Is he? Me. 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 Oh, let it go, Gary. <coughs> He's gone. I know. Oh. I know. Senor! Senor! Are you okay? Is there something I can do? No, thank you. Just a check. Sad to see such a promising career end so tragically. Well, he wasn't a good fit for the show. Those muscles, so young and restless. <laughs> I'm way too young to have a son anyway. No. You're plenty old. That part I bought was the part about you having sex with a man that I didn't buy, not for a second. Look at the pot trying to make everyone else black. You're just mad because I had when Julian met Santa in my movie library, which means you're not just Santa's bitch. You're mine. I'm gonna ask Shay to marry me. What? She's all the woman I need, and I think the fans will really eat it up, don't you? After that, you could find a whole fleet of gerbils up my ass in the ER, and no one would care. Oh, there's my blushing bride now. Nice try, sugar tits. Shay, I wouldn't go over there right now. She's not in a very good mood. Donovan, all I'm saying is if Liza can come back after being decapitated in the rodeo episode, then it's possible. Uh, Shay, it's wait, not. Wait, wait. Yeah. It's possible that Veronica swam her way through the raging current and washed up on distant shores intact. Didn't you see Castaway? Mm, no, I missed that one. Oh, he falls for a volleyball, Donovan. A volleyball. If Tom Hanks can live to make love to sporting equipment, then I can come back from drowning. Oh, he makes love. No, it's mostly subtext. Mm -hmm. Yes, Olivia, I spoke with Gerard at Network. A live episode is possible, but he's not sure a live musical will work. Excuse me, Olivia, can I speak to you for a moment? Directly? I I'm not leaving, Olivia. Hold the work! And which one are you? Darling, I really don't think that I'm it's... Gary Strong's wife, and it's just not right. Donovan and I have been talking it over. Really? Really? And we feel that having Veronica die so suddenly would be too traumatic for our loyal audience. Well... You may be right. What would your loyal audience do without you? But unfortunately, my dear, the numbers do not lie, and you were voted off fair and square. Ross? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 94%? That's great. That's pretty... Oh. Wait, you're having people voted off the show? Welcome back. How was your nap? Isn't that a little barbaric? Do you watch television? Oh, well, I enjoy Bones very much. Listen, Julian, the viewer feels they'd like to have some control over what goes on television, so I adjusted our show slightly. Slightly. To meet their needs. Is someone talking over me? Yes, but what's next? The Real Housewives of Sunview River Falls? Got it. You're all gonna have to work harder than you've ever worked before, and that goes double for the fat ones and the ugly ones, and you know who you are. Television is changing and collided lives. We'll be changing with it. Donovan, grab an Uber. Actors. Don't worry, she'll still make the bloopers real. Shay, Shay, I'm so sorry. It doesn't matter. I have a high-profile campaign starting as the spokeswoman for Alcafat. It'll be nice to do scripts with some real meat to them for a change. Shay. No, Julian, you've had two good ears on the show. You don't know what I've been through. Darling, there is something that I would Not like to discuss. now, Julian. Oh, okay. I never would have killed Shay off if it wasn't for that stupid voting thing. And now I gotta make you and Kit this super power couple. Which makes my bowels clench. Oh, tell me about it. I hate my sister so much. I wish I didn't have to write anything for her anymore. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Buttersfield. I just wanna say what an honor it was to work with you. Is everything okay? Oh, gosh. I guess we both got voted off, huh? Me? No. I just got asked to do a movie with Colin Firth. Is he cool?
All actors on stage three for the last scene of the day, please. Oh, hey, there you go. What's this? New script, thought you might want to look over your lines. Mm. Ooh, wait, I'm sorry, you don't have any. <laughs> yeah, right. Great idea for Rose Winters to have a son, but now that he's gone, she's suffering from a wee bit of post-traumatic stress disorder and she's lost her voice. You can't speak, Little Mermaid. Not a word. This is bullshit. For how long? Well, these things take time, Kit. You know, next thing you know, she might be institutionalized. Or maybe, ooh, maybe she's run out of town. It's all in the eyes, Draker. I could play a brain-dead idiot for the rest of the year and still beat you out for Best Actress. I thought you were playing a brain-dead idiot. You won't last for another week on the show without your big fat mouth to save you. And Shay will never marry you when she finds out about that sex tape. Julian, what is she talking about? What sex tape? Rose, slow down! You know a secret passageway out of this basement. You know a way that we can call for help. Rose, slow down, I don't understand. Rose, no, stop, listen to me, Rose, listen. You've beaten this man before. You'll beat him again. That's a very interesting theory, Strom. Coming from a man who's tied to a woman. Romano Asiago. Detective. What's that? What is she doing? She says you'll never get away with this. People know we're here and they'll be looking for us. Then I guess you'd better tell me where the policia have hidden my brother. You think I'd sacrifice my badge to help you? The man who murdered half of Sunview River Falls? Never! Gross. Finally! Maybe Marley Matlin here would like to spend another ten years in a way. No! You stay away from her, I'll... Make it your choice, detective. Either you savor your precious job, or your girlfriend. you learn to talk like that, I swear it's like Al Pacino just came back to life. Al Pacino is very much alive. Yeah, and he's got some pretty stiff competition. I've never slept with a foreigner before. I was born in Connecticut. You sound like it. Uh, look, I'm sort of interested in someone else. Who? Anyone else. Oh, I get it. You've heard about American girls and you're scared. <laughs> that better? Oh. Mm. Julian, hey. Bye. Congratulations on your engagement, Mr. Draker. Oh, thank you, Frank. It's incredible, isn't it? You know, when a man loves a woman. Julian, yeah. Hey, congrats. I read about it in Celebrity Engagement Scoop. Are you sure you're not a woman? Uh, did you talk to Olivia about this yet? I mean, she's trying to set you two up as a super couple. Maybe we should have talked to her first. Donovan, Olivia does not scare me. How's our little super <laughs> couple? Oh. Well, we're just laughing and sharing. Oh, hey, uh, congratulations on your engagement, Julian. That was fast. I didn't even know you two were seeing each other. Oh, well, we see each other all the time at work. I bet it was work. Oh, well, I think it's just terrific. Is she expecting? A call? A child. Oh, no, no, we've never even uh, talked about it. No, stop the work! Well, that's good. Hey, I've been meaning to tell you, I'm just loving the whole circus freak storyline. Great suggestion, Julian. Thank you, Olivia. You know, I was thinking next Rose ought to have her fingers chopped off, really amp it up. Great, that is just genius. Uh, wardrobe is yeah. ready for them, Mrs. Vanderstone? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, listen, I want the two of you to pick out something fabulous to wear tomorrow to DramaCon. DramaCon? Yes, it's a convention that I created for soap opera fans. How wonderful. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I have your acceptance speeches prepared because you're both nominated for a steamy. A steamy? All right, let's kiss some hands and shake some babies, shall we? It's Ms. and Vandersteen. Now go home. Your show is counting on you. Don't let us down. You need to win that award. Oh, you need a breath mint. Listen to me, your likability percentage is down. Like, way, way down. Now, I'm trying to help you here, but there's only so much that I can do for Olivia sexually that doesn't require a painkiller. Oh, well, I can get you painkillers. Kit, Dad is not here anymore to save the day. Now, I am telling you, you have to make this drama con thing work for you, okay? So reach out to the fans, talk to them, smile, try to look pretty, and try to be nice for once in your life. Fat girls are nice, I'll find another way. Hey, hey, 
You okay, Mr. Drinker? Me? Yes, of course I'm fine. I'm, I'm just looking for my bride to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, if you ever want to talk, I'm here. Okay. Oh, Julian. Shay! I'm, I'm so, so sorry. excited. I, I just found out about the proposal. What? what? You first. I, I just read about it this morning in Really Important People. Oh, Julian, we're going to be husband and wife. I'm so glad that you're happy. Are you kidding? I have wanted to be Mrs. Julian Draker ever since my second divorce. I am thrilled. Me too. And I know that I should have proposed to you properly, but I was just so excited. When you realize that you want to spend the rest of your life with someone, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. When Harry met Sally? That was such a good movie. And the timing is perfect. Now that I'm off the show, I'll have plenty of time to find a venue, book the caterers, get back into Thai Bo. I think you look beautiful exactly as you are. Oh, Julian. Darling, there is just one tiny detail that we haven't talked about yet. The sex tape. Shay, please. I know it's embarrassing, it's but... It's just the shameful things that I did before I even met you. It's just overwhelming. Oh, no, of course, my darling, of course. We don't have to talk about it anymore. I just need to know one thing. Were there many women? Not many, no. Julia? Oh. Hi. Peter? Oh, my Hi. God. Hi. What are you... Oh. oh. It's been a long time. Yes, a really long time. Uh, this is an old pal, Peter, from the neighborhood. We used to play the uh, ball together. Yeah, that's mostly correct. So you're on soaps now? Yep, just got engaged to a woman. Oh, uh, congratulations. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Peter. This is Shay Buttersfield, my fiance oh. and best friend. This is Peter. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just so exciting. I've never met any of Julian's friends before. Oh. <laughs> so how about you, Peter? You meet that special girl, yeah? No. Sorry to hear that. Mm. Um, so it brings you to darken our door. Oh, I don't mean darken it. Don't mean darken it. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why. Why am I saying that? Why am I talking? Mm, yeah, I'm just here to do a story on Olivia. Oh, you're a writer. Mm. Yeah, and no, she's hilarious and very sweet. Olivia. Yeah, and the way she grew up and the thing about her sister. Oh, waterworks every time. Anyway, pleasure to meet you. Oh, yeah. yes. Good to see you. You too. Okay. Wow, he is great. We have to have him at our wedding. You make a good choice, Mr. Strong. That is, if Lomano can trust you. I told you I would tell you where his brother is, and a strong man never lies. But the girl is innocent. <laughs> Forgive my skepticism, Mr. Strong. I guess I've earned once a police, always a police. You think I have any loyalty for the men who left me to die on a luxury cruise liner? Don't make me laugh. Huh. Now you tell us, Mr. Strong. Where is Pancetto? Shut up! Shut up now! She doesn't want me to betray my brothers on the force, and in doing so, betray myself. I owe them nothing. Panchetto is being kept in a stronghold underneath Pier 42, along with a substantial amount of police-confiscated cocaine. Hmm. I figured you deserve something for your trouble. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Strong. What was that? I said good luck. <laughs> Rose! Rose, stop it! I did what I had to do. And now I need you to leave as fast as you can. Leave, Rose, and don't ever let me see you around here again. Didn't give him the wrong location. That would be suicide. No. No, I. Listen to me. Just get away from me. I need time to grieve my wife, the woman I love. Now go. I said go! God's
speed. Oh my god, we look like the top of a wedding cake. Oh my god! Julia Draker, I am a huge fan. Thank you. Can I get your autograph? Of course. Yes, this is Alcafat. Yeah, there's plenty of room. Please step right up. Don't let getting sloppy drunk let you get sloppy fat. Enjoy the booze, then choose to lose with Alcafat. So guys, how does it feel to be nominated for a Steamy? Well, I'm just happy to be in a field of so many talented people. It's an honor just to be nominated. Today. And I want to give a shout out to my fans for their support via Facebook, Twitter, and Kitnockers is a big deal.com. You guys are really great spellers. I don't know how you do it. Yeah, and I'd like to thank my fans too for twitting and my facing and for twatting in general. Thank you. Good, thank you both. So, tell me, are the rumors true about you and Kit? What? That America's hottest love triangle might be true in real life. <laughs> I'll never tell. Hey, guys, over here. Hey, Julian, can you uh, give her a kiss? Sure. Great. Can you excuse us for just a minute? Ashley, sorry. What was that all about? Just thought it'd be fun for our fans. I'm engaged to Shay. You're kidding, right? Kit, Julian. Oh. You haven't had a decent human emotion in your snarky little life. Oh, I'm having one now. It's that feeling you get when you've won. Mm. Excuse us, guys. We could get you to move down the Sure. Oh, they won't. Just we could get you to the side. Okay. Okay. We're trying to. Wasn't this plantation canceled? Lance Dudeford. Oh, he's a terrible actor. Gorgeous, though. Really? I didn't see it. All right, so you're just playing with your keys? Don't let getting sloppy drunk mean you get sloppy fat. Enjoy the booze and choose to lose with Alka Fat. Here, if you don't take this, I'm gonna scream. Thank you so much. Julian. Oh, yeah, it's so good to see you again, <laughs> and Maureen. Oh, hi, Maureen. Oh, unemployment looks so good on you. Oh, well, thank you. I wish I could say the same for that dress. Maureen, <laughs> I'm so Oh my God, the fans are rapid. Oh, I know, crazy. they're yeah. Bye, sweetie. I'm sorry, let me just get you to move. Actually, your time's up. Okay. So... Oh, okay, lady. Shay. Oh, hello, Julian. Darling, I just heard. I'm sorry, Julian. I, I don't have time to talk right now. I have to um, pass out these Alcafat samples. Shay, if you'll just let me explain. There's nothing to explain. I'm not on the show, and apparently... I'm not even the woman you love, Julian. I mean, Kit, of all people. Darling, you know that those websites are filled with lies. Are they? Of course. They're going to make up stories about incredibly famous soap stars. That's out of my hands. You are the only woman for me. I am? Absolutely. And I'm going to do everything I can to get you back on the show. That's my promise to you. Uh, Julian, I I'm sorry. I've been acting so crazy. It's, it's just... This whole engagement thing, it just got me so tense. Mm, me too. Oh, do you think maybe tonight we could... Mm. <laughs> mm. Huh? I would make love to you right now. Hundreds of times, right here on this carpet, if I thought I could. Now go pass out that Alcafat, you fair mistress of tantalizing sexual... This. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got it. Mm. Shay. How are you? I'm great. I'm I'm great. I'm engaged. <laughs> I'm the new face of a giant campaign. Alcafat? Yes. And I just lost six pounds. I always thought you looked great. Like really great. I went to Juilliard. Hi. Right. 
Julian Draker. Lance Studeford, you snuck up on me. Right in your old back door, huh? My God, you get more handsome every time I see you. Of course, I only met you twice. <laughs> <laughs> now that this plantation is canceled, you should really uh, consider doing stand-up. Pretty girls aren't funny. You know that. No, I'll miss this plantation, but I'm pretty set. Hi. You up first, Amy? I'm up for anything. The award. Right. Yes. Yep. May the best man win. Yes. Or I hope you do. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Pretty girls really aren't funny. Oh, man. I got a line in my booth around the block. Yeah, ours See is. See you soon. Okay. There you go. You're welcome. Oh, should I go with timid virgin or insatiable co-ed? Who? Hmm. How about unphotogenic? That's funny coming from the star of the Christmas special. Honestly, do you talk about anything else? Oh, am I getting under your skin cheekbones? You will delete that video and all traces of it in your possession. By the time I'm done rewriting Rose Winters on this show, you will make Diving Bell and the Butterfly look like a musical. And by the way, Olivia and I have been discussing the idea of a spontaneous coma. Spontaneous coma, that's rich. I can see it all now, you comatose, no makeup, <gasps> lying on a gurney, helpless while I brilliantly mourn my long lost love all the way to a series of best actor awards. Really is harder on the ones they leave behind. <laughs> you would dare. That guy in Diving Bell, the one who blinked a lot, God, his career really took off. What was his name again? I get my voice back and I become Mrs. Gary Strong. <clears throat> It's a deal. I'll get the tape. I found you. Hi. Hello. Can I please get a picture? Of course you can. What's your name? Vivian. Vivian. Yeah, I love your character. I can imitate him. You want to hear? I do. Okay. I like that. I'm Detective Gary Strong. And if you want to get to her, you've got to come on me. Through me. I'd ask you to sign my shirt, but I'm on a new do not touch list. I, I can't even ask. Thank you. You're really pretty, Julian. Thank you. Thank you. Who are you supposed to be? I'm you. At night? Everyone stand back! Oh my god. Raheem, do something. What would you like me to do exactly? Well, I don't know. Talk to him. He's not listening. I know. I'll go outside and untie his camel. Thank you. I swear I'll kill her. If Romano Aldegago can't have her, nobody can. Oh my god. And that alka fat concoction tastes like shit. Stand back! I mean it! Jesus Christ! Somebody help me! Please! On today's episode of Collided Lives, the role of Rose Winters will be played by Elena Dupree. <laughs> Did you think you'd get away with it, detective? Betraying a man like Romano Asiago. Or maybe you didn't care what happened to you. Maybe you were just trying to save your lady friend here from an untimely demise. You know, it's a shame, you and me, if we had more time. We could have been good together. You stay away from her! What are you gonna do, detective? I'm afraid you played your last trick. You've disappointed the wrong man. <laughs> Romano Asiago isn't known for his forgiven nature. He's known for his murdering nature. He murders people. I know what kind of man your employer is, Delvin Mohannity. I also know that if anything happens to us, he'll never see his brother alive again. You've overestimated brotherly love. You don't have to do this, Delvin. You don't have to. You were a good cop once. You can still honor your oath to the people of Sunview River. Shut up, Strong. We can't all be perfect detectives who get promotions and keys to the city. 
That's funny, though. You here with your mistress, you'll die. And everyone in Sunview River Falls will see that you're not as upstanding as you'd like to think. <laughs> and I like that. No. <laughs> Delvin? No! I don't care what people think! Rose. Rose, if I had to die with anyone, I would want it to be with you. You could never shame me. I married the wrong woman. It's always been you. Only you. Right and wrong don't matter anymore. If I have to die, I don't want to die without having... Gary? Gary! Veronica. Veronica, you're alive! Veronica! The bomb! The bomb over there on the workbench! Can you dismantle it? Veronica! V-E-E-A-R-A, with an umlaut. Of course. Thank you. I loved you in Ripe Waters. Oh, that was a great film. You know, Ewan is one of the best actors I've ever worked with. Thank you. So nice of you to join us today, Mitch. Of course. When Olivia asks you to do something, you just do it. <laughs> Why? Huh? What did she tell you? What? Mitch! <laughs> Olivia! Mmm, uh, both sides. Oh, yeah. Mm, like the British. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you were able to postpone your wedding. Oh, of course. I'll meet someone else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Elena Dupree. <laughs> Nobody gives spontaneous coma like this girl. Right? Thanks. Oh, I mean, truly, hold the work. I did not see it coming. You're awake, you're not. You're awake, you're not. I didn't, I was on the edge of my seat. Well, this has been a great opportunity. I mean, no one's ever asked me to do a coma before, much less one that came on so suddenly. Isn't she amazing? She's and beautiful and perfect. And it certainly you are is. The best. No, you are. No, <laughs> that would be you. The best. Elena. Elena. I loved you on Hard Angry Men, but this is just so different. Oh. Well, this is just a dream come true. I mean, my parents have always loved you guys. All right, back to work, everybody. Oh, Olivia, excuse me. So, do you eat gluten? I don't know what that is. Um, Olivia, excuse me. Olivia, I just wanted to let you know how thankful I am that Shay is back on the show again. Oh, it's my pleasure. And which one is Shay? Hey! Is that Shay? <sighs> Kit. She get married? Abducted. Oh. What the hell is going on? I was kidnapped by a dangerous criminal and no one comes looking for me? Well, what were we supposed to do, kid? He seemed very determined to kidnap you. Stop him? Surround him? I don't know. Who's this? Allow me to introduce you to Elena Dupree. She's been playing Rose Winters and doing a fantastic job. I'm Rose Winters. Well, you were, but Elena here was gracious enough to fill the tiny little void of your absence. And she's remarkably Rose-like, especially when she's unresponsive and dead in the eyes. Thank you. He's so much fun to work with. Don't get too excited. I'm alive. This is temporary. Like the comas. <laughs> Brilliant. Kit. Hey, you're back. My big brother. So nice of you to show up and be so worried about me after I had been brutally kidnapped. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just didn't know what happened. The gun to my head didn't tip you off? No, I just thought maybe you ran into an old friend. What do you mean? I was the victim of a very serious hate crime. Hate crime? Or did you spend the last two days in Alan's basement eating nachos and playing Minecraft? That is bullshit. And that is bean dip. You didn't call the cops, did you? Not yet. Bye, Kit. Nice to meet you. Oh, Jules, I'm bummed out. I was kind of hoping she really was dead. You're not alone. You want to eat? You eat? Awesome. Hello. Oh. What are you doing in here? Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. Has there been an attack? Did your people communicate something? I've been thinking, Shay, about you. Oh? I can't get your smell out of my head. Oh. It's driving me crazy. God, you're such a beautiful woman, you know that? Well... Be with me. Let me show you the meaning of the song, Wonderland. Oh, Raheem. No, 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 I, I, I couldn't possibly. 
I'm with Julian. We're engaged. But you can't stop thinking about me. <sighs> he keeps flirting with other women. Shamelessly, right in front of me. I didn't think the sex tape was going to bother me, but now I'm wondering. There's a sex tape? Oh, Mr. Frick. Yes. Hi, Melanie. Have you seen a uh, kit by any chance? Uh, I'll, I'll find her. Thank oh, you. Oh, and there's a Peter here to see you? It's wonderful. Yeah. Great. Uh, uh, wait. That's bad. Come in. Hi. Hey, Peter. I had no idea you were here. That's funny. Your assistant said that. Oh, no, no, no. She's hard of. We didn't, uh, I had to, I love these new drapes I just got. Welcome. How are you? Good to see you again. Yeah, so I hope it's okay. I, I was just finishing up with Olivia, and I, I brought you some baklava. I didn't know if it was still your favorite. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, sorry, I didn't get you anything. You didn't know I was coming. Right. I didn't. <laughs> I did not know you were coming. Still, you're right. It's pretty rude. <laughs> so I don't watch soaps. Oh. Yeah, okay. never. Okay. I never do. But your picture, look, it's, I mean, it's everywhere. I'm sorry. Wow. I mean, right. I didn't put them up. I mean, no, they I'm happy for, for you. How long has it been on? Um, long time. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm sorry that I haven't seen That's it. Okay. But again, I, I'm not a, not a fan of yeah, soaps. Yeah, no, I got so, it. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, I, I don't like them. Uh, but uh, you look great. Thank you. Thank you. You do, too. Although I have a little water weight right now that I'd like to lose. I think you look just right. Just white baby bear? I'm sorry. I thought you just said baby bear. What? Um, I did. I was referring to Myth in, in Goldilocks. I'm kidding. You're such a dork. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I was wondering if this is a bad idea, then you just tell me. But I was just wondering if you wanted to maybe catch up, maybe get a drink or something like that. It looked like you've been through an ordeal. I'd love to hear. How does this, this every day? Are you beaten up? Like... Right now. Well, so you'd be thirsty. So you... be... Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I forgot to knock. I'm so sorry. That's all right. I'm Janice, I'm Olivia's new assistant. And actually, there's some news I want to tell you. Okay, great. And this is Peter, my friend. Peter, this is Janice. And uh, Peter owns the gun practice place on Victory Boulevard. Nice to see you, Peter. Uh, see you at gun practice. What? Pete, this is for you. Welcome to Collided Lives. On my first day? Well, you know, oh, the card is edible. A vanilla, probably. Okay, so whenever you want to come to the green room. Oh, right, okay. Thank you, Janice. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Here he is. Congratulations, Julian. What for? Darling, Soap Opera Lives has just nominated you for Best Actor. <laughs> Oh my god. An SOL. Isn't it wonderful? Olivia's gonna be thrilled. Oh my god. Wow. Olivia's gonna be thrilled. Oh, you guys got hottest love triangle! Oh my god! Yes! 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 Oh god. Isn't this exciting? Yes, we should really have some baklava. Baklava. Uh, I'll get the baklava. We have a saying at Juilliard. Congratulations. Oh. Peter, Peter, Peter. Please, I am so sorry about that back there. I get it. No, I, I, I didn't. No, no, I get it. Um, I, it was wonderful to see you again. So maybe we can have a coffee sometime, you know, friends. Yeah. Julian, darling, we want to take some pictures. Yes, I'll be right in, love. Julian, you're fantastic. Thank you. But clearly, you've got some issues. And I'm not the love triangle type. So if you work it out, you give me a call, okay? Are you guys butt pirates together? I believe we have a deal. Did you delete the video? Honey, I was thinking about that when no one came to rescue me, so no. Deal's off. We must get off the ship. Veronica, please. Gary, don't. I told you I would rescue you, but I don't want to hear any of your explanations. You can't.
can't treat her like a prisoner. Yet I am a prisoner of love, and no one's coming to save me. Please, you must untie her hands. She suffers from spontaneous comas. Oh, I hope she suffers. She's lucky I'm letting Dom Falk keep her alive. Dom Falk? Dick! <laughs> He rescued me from the jungle swamp. He nursed my broken femur. If it weren't for him, I... Don't fuck. Because my husband certainly wasn't going to save me. He was busy planning a future with some other woman. So scary. Veronica, look at me. I tried to save you. Your dress is the color of the ocean at night. It is. I tried. Please believe me, I called out for you, but you couldn't hear me in the ocean because of your ear. My God, your ear. Is it? Dom Falk did it. Oh, he mixed an elixir oh. and restored my hearing. Oh my God, it's a miracle. Yes. Veronica, you can hear me? Yes. Wait. Dom Falk, can you help Rose get her voice back? Rose, her voice back. Dom Falk, the girl, her voice. Can you help? Oh, hi. Really great work. Yeah, it really was, man. And it was brief. It was so brief. Olivia <laughs> wants you to know how happy we are to have you. Thank you. Couldn't have done it without my scene partner. Seriously, do people just fall into those blue eyes of yours? <laughs> well, they're just in my face. Well, keep it to yourself. You got me all worked up. I'm just so surprised I didn't know you were coming on the show. Am I coming on the show? I'm gonna go talk to my fiance. I'm, I'm engaged to her, I'm gonna talk to her. Yeah, I'm gonna call my wife too. Tell her you and I have been busy shooting loads. Have you been shooting loads today, sweetie? Don't get too tired, because I have some exciting plans for us later. I'm mm. sorry, why are you touching me? That's not what you said last night. Oh, just taking care of the man I love. I would rather gouge out my eyeballs with an oyster fork than pretend to be in love with you for one second longer than I have to. It's not for me, Jules, it's for the fans. We can't disappoint them. The fans, they want Shay. I'm marrying Shay, and if I have to move up the wedding date, believe me, I will. Do that, and I'll release the tape on LubeTube the day before. You can make me a mute coma, chop off all my fingers, but you are still stuck with me. No, 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 Julian, I want to talk to you for a second. Okay. Come on in. Sit. Okay. What is it? Have you heard of an attack? Yes, and they specifically told me to warn you. Thank you. I know about the sex tape. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you? Don't know what you're talking about. Look, I have nothing to lose here. I don't have an ounce of dignity left on this show. I mean, I just played a Chinese man. And you were wonderful. It's all in the eyes. Point is, I went to Juilliard. And I know your secret. And if you don't want it out in the world, you will do as I say. I don't say. think you know what you're and who you're- Julian. You know, I'm almost happy that someone else knows about it. <laughs> hey, man. We're guys, okay? I understand the desires of the flesh, but she cannot see that tape. It will humiliate her. I would never want to do that. You need to destroy it. Of course, I know that. Right away. Rahim, it's complicated. Hey, too bad, look. I don't care how many women you've lured in with your Gary Strong sexy bullshit. It has to stop now. If you cheat on her or hurt her and- I, I would never- Rahim. You told him about the tape? I'm sorry, it just slipped out. I was feeling jealous and he was comforting me. What kind of comforting? Oh, I don't know. Maybe with us working together, he's developed feelings for me? You're a beautiful woman, of course he's attracted to you. Oh, Julian. Make love to me. What? Oh, we love each other, and we haven't, I mean, we've never even. Yes, I know, but the waiting is so delicious. Ah, oh, Julia, kiss me. Mm. 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 
Waiting is delicious. Yeah, I can't keep my hands off of you right now. Our wedding night is going to be magical. We'll make love and then we'll make more love. Oh, yes. <laughs> Till then. Hello? Morning, Mr. Draker. Thank you, Frank. Hey. Hi. 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 You know I'm engaged. And I'm going to marry Julian no matter what. I know. And I just don't care. Didn't expect to hear from you again. Yeah, I wasn't gonna call. So did you change your mind about that coffee? Yeah. I will suit you. You can't imagine, Mr. Straw. Detective! That your bullets are any threat to my people. We are made of different matter entirely. Besides, we're already dead. Don't worry, only the first bite stings. After that, I- Stop, remain. stop right there. It's not you I want. I want the woman you love. Is that proving to be a difficult decision? You should know she'll be treated well, celebrated by my people as their queen, revered for her beauty. Right before we use her body to sire the new Lord of Darkness and drink her blood. No! Whom do you choose, Detective? Time is running out. Dumbfuck, help us! The serum I gave Dumbfuck to slip into your coconut water is reaching full effect. Amazing what it does to the human nervous system. I myself am not affected, but you, you shall soon be quite unconscious, I'm afraid. And whatever will happen to your enviable romantic trio. <laughs> Don't fuck! Don't fuck! No! <laughs> Rose! No! Gary! Don't bother! Rose! Fight it! Fight the transition, Rose! <laughs> Rose, no! Please don't say that! Have you made your choice, Detective? I have not! She has. Uh, don't say it twice or I'll go find one. Uh, I'd like to see that. Hey, you guys excited about getting married? Yeah, it's just the waiting that's hard for me. I, I would marry this woman today if I thought I Oh, well, I'm an ordained minister, so. Well, that would be. <laughs> Julian! Yeah. Julian! Where's my. Wow. What? Your commitment. I could see it in your eyes. It is just killing you to have to pull that trigger. I, well. I learn something new from you every day, and Shay, I just really like working with you guys. It's a real privilege. Donovan, your sister just... I know. Oh, Mr. Drinker? Hi, I'm... Olivia's new assistant? Yes. How'd you know? You'll see. Oh, well, Olivia wants to see in her office as soon as you're finished getting ready. Okay, bye. Thank you. Mm. After you, my sweet. Mm. My goodness, you look wonderful. You look so handsome and, <laughs> and virile. Exactly. <laughs> what a soap star needs to be. 
Thank you. You're welcome. I mean, this just makes sense. Much more sense than what I saw yesterday. You and your friend outside, it looked like you were uh, exchanging some words. Hmm. I don't... Yeah, his name's Peter Andrews. He went to high school together. His mother was your piano teacher. And it was a funny situation, really, because it looked like the two of... Well, it looked like you were kissing. What? <laughs> I know! Preposterous, <laughs> right? Because I know you're not gay, Julian. And you know how I know? How? You are the hot male lead of my huge love triangle and the star of my show. Why, you have millions of lonely Midwestern housewives dropping their panties over you five days a week. Now, if you were into guys, how would that play? Now, you're no careless co-ed, Julian. No. You're a strong man. Yes. You're a smart man. Yes. And you're a straight man. Yes. Now, you know, Tammy O'Rourke is here today. She's setting up on the stage just to interview you and your wildly attractive co-stars. <laughs> And you're going to tell her just how hot and sexy you think they are, right? Mmm, of course, they're... And you're going to pick one today. Uh, you and Shay, you and Kit. No. Hell, you and me, I don't care. You're just going to pick one and uh, get a little heat going before you win that award, huh? What do you say? Of course. Yeah. Thank you, Olivia. Oh, no, no, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, darling, there you are. Oh. I was lost without you. Then I will give you a map and you can find me. Oh. You excited? No, mm -hmm. I can't stop sweating. Oh, don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Well, normally I wouldn't, but I've never been very good at live interviews. And what? Just so... This isn't what? Live? Who said this was? This is not live. Who told you it was live? Well, it's live? You didn't know? No! No! No live. I don't do live. Why? Do you remember what happened the last time I did live TV? Do you remember? And every dollar that we raise here tonight will go to helping poor children like Gail here. Oh my God, Julian, I love you! I love <gasps> you! Darling, all you have to do is be yourself. You're Gary Strong, and Gary Strong can do anything. Shay, wardrobe needs you. <sighs> they were very bouncy at that age. Yep. You too, so giddy with plans for the future, it's bittersweet. You know, I'm not in the mood, Kit. And what are you up to? You know, now that Gary has a gun to Rose's head, I'm just thinking, with a live interview and then broadcasting every word they say, right as we say it, imagine the possibilities. You wouldn't dare. I think the world should see this. I'm in love with Shay, and I'm going to marry Shay. You're breaking it off now. What? Unless you want the whole world to hear live about Julian's big gay adventure. You and I are getting engaged, and after that, I'm getting pregnant. Gross. Today, the gun goes off in a very different direction. Say goodbye to your big blonde beard. I win. Donovan. Donovan. Can I borrow you for a second? I'll wait. So, were you thinking of a traditional ring ceremony? Or oh, maybe a unity candle? Yeah, you could. I do a great riff on an Indian blessing. It has some very simple choreography. Sounds fantastic. <laughs> Whatever you think is best, as long as you say man and wife and my beloved Shay and I are wed. Oh, yeah. Today. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Today. You, you kiss and then, and then it's done. Great. That's it. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> and then there's this really moving ritual where you pour sand into a vase. It's Let's very just ask the blushing bride, shall we? Hmm? Oh, my God. Oh, God. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> and congratulations on the rating spikes, the steamies, and best love triangle nod. Yes, thank you, Tammy. You know, all of the credit really goes to Olivia Vanderstein and myself. Her innovative thinking has made the show better than ever. And she's really sweet. Mm -hmm. She's, like, so fun to work with. Now, what do you all think makes the Strong Winter storyline so successful? You know, Tammy, Gary Strong is a conflicted man but a handsome man. And look at the women that he loves. I mean, I'm a wonderful actor, but they make it so easy. And Shay, she's just like a sister to me. It's actually really hard to hate her, but it's, it's all in good fun. Good fun. <laughs> we just love each other, on screen and off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a real chemistry. Yeah. Which leads me to my next question. You two are getting married in real life. Now, does that change who ends up with whom on the show? It's so funny that you should ask that. 
We don't know. Isn't that something? <laughs> yeah, it's true. These things really do. They just develop organically. As yeah, we're like a real family, all of us. You know, some of us are closer than others. It must have been really difficult when she was abducted. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Julian, let's go for a second to your Best Actor nomination. Now, that's been a long time coming. Does it raise the stakes for you in any way? Thank you so much. No, not really, it doesn't, because it's not about the awards for me, it's about the work, yeah. you know, and the people that I work with. In fact, there is some news on that front that uh, I... It's funny. <laughs> you know, the, the very, because the, you know, the road unwinds, the very road, you know, it unwinds. I am, I'm gay. Just so very homosexual. <sighs> Just gay as gay can be. Gay, 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 100%. I'm so sorry, shit. I want men. I love men. I want men. I'm so sorry. I love you so much, but I'm gay. I'm totally gay, and I want men so much. I don't care who knows it anymore. I, I, I will shout it to the world. I am gay. I am 100% like totally attracted to men and accountants and lawyers and grips and men. Just men. Bring them on, bring it on, bring it fast, because I have waited so long, and I'm gay. <sighs> yes, 100% gay. Gay, 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 gay. Oh, so, I'm so, I'm so gay. Oh my God, I'm gay. Oh.